Hey guys, Game Hunter here, and uh, today we're taking a look at a new, new, fairly, fairly big game. I would say it's called Powder. This is actually the version number, but uh, the game is Powder. Powder, you do. Um, it's made by a guy named Jeff Late. Uh, he's the same dude that did Sword in Hand for 2012 Seven Day Roguelike Challenge and a number of others that I'll probably get to in due time. They're often praised for being pretty pretty cool games so I'm hoping that his his uh, big big project is is just as cool uh, I guess let's go ahead and have fun with the options yeah it's nothing there trans oh they always go back fonts don't care color text whatever auto prompt uh, who um, I don't know what that means, but I guess we'll enable it just in case. Attack by default, yes, please. Um, and then enable the action bar, why not? It's, so what What happens if I, uh, so that, I don't know what defaults, and that's full screen. Full screen, we don't use, tutorial, welcome to powder. Your goal is simple, dive into level 25 of the dungeon and reach a basil boob, ba basil bub. Slay him and return to the surface with his black heart. Plenty of nasty monsters stand in your way, however. Unfortunately, the dungeon is littered with useful equipment. Okay, welcome to Powder. Wow, okay, so, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, Powder is very well known for being extremely well ported to a number of, um, a number of platforms. Not limited to, but including things like the Game Boy Advance and, uh, I mean, that's pretty crazy. I mean, if anything, I'd say this is somewhat what it reminds me of right here. Now, let's just read this again. Welcome to the tutorial. Press up and down to scroll through this message. It can be done with page up, page down for faster. Key presses are written inside square brackets. Uh, to hit S for swap, you must hit Shift S because it's a capital letter. Do, 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 entirely played with the mouse. Well, that's always cool, too. When you have menus visible, you can select the current entry to cancel the escape. First task is to move. You can move in four directions. Okay, so it's a orthogonal, there's a cardinal movement, no diagonals. Okay. Uh, clicking with the mouse will also move you in that direction. You can hold down a stylus, or probably just hold down the mouse too, to keep moving. Uh, well, let's see if that works actually. Just hold it down. Yeah, if you hold it down, there you go. Uh, this game does not sound like it has music, so let me find some music to play with it then. Okay, this one sounds pretty good, so let's go ahead and just use that. Uh, let's make sure it's at a decent level. Okay, <clears throat> that ought to work. Uh, hit question mark to bring up help. Okay, as you explore, you can hit M to view minimap, and your location is a white square. Okay, good enough. Boop, boop, boop. You got inventory, I do inventory. Enter to bring up context menu whenever you, whenever you select something. The brown bag also is what brings that up. So let's see. So we can like look to somewhere and you see a long sword. Probably just press escape to get rid of that. You grow up on the ground. So brown bag is this? Okay. And that is quite a big inventory. Man oh man, that is, that's a big inventory. What was the, uh, holy crap, it's a map. Oh man, uh, yes, maps. One of my favorite things. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> right, I forgot. No diagonals. Yes, picking up stuff. Um, hit G to pick it up. Or you can use, I guess, uh, oh wait, what? Come on, let's try that again. So, you can do this. Huh. Cool. Alright. So, long sword. I guess just by clicking it, you simply get it. Doors! Opening straight forward, walk into it. Okay. Click on the door while standing beside it. Works for me. Can I close them? Okay, so that's that's still closing. You cannot quite shift the what? Huh. Is there okay, so that's the that's the close button too. If you need a close button on here. Uh let's see. Anyway, combat. Attacking is done with the equipped weapon. Uh, do 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 adventure. So I guess now we just can't. Yeah, adventuring can be hungry. If a corpse is left, you can eat it. Be warned that you are what you eat. <laughs> yes, net hack style. Um, eat eat my bobs. You completely miss. Um, let's actually go ahead and equip this stuff. 
boop, boop, main body. Main body. All right, crumples into a heap. Let's go ahead and just eat the rat corpse. Dying on the rat corpse, excuse me. Come on, cannot quite shift the door. I guess just, huh. Anyway, boulders, too large to push. If you get yourself stuck, you can swap places with it. Oh wait, no, they're too large to pick up, but it can be pushed, excuse me. Uh, all right, first remove the equipped items, hit shift. After choosing, you will swap places with it. Note you can also swap with friendly monsters. So, you are, okay, so yeah, wow, huh, that's, that's interesting, oh, whoops, uh, there we go, and then you swap, there you go, I have to swap abil ability right there, and of course, pushing, okay, cool, cool Beanas, uh, learning the game, I guess I could start to use, I don't know, item use, <laughs> Um, boop, 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 yes, hitting, pick up, right, I for inventory, select with enter, drinking potions, zapping wands, and reading scrolls. So let's go ahead and just get all these, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at them then. Scroll of Ancient Runes, oh, and then examine, attack style improvised, yes, I'm sure that would be the case. The great colored sludge in this potion seems to be seems to stick to the sides of the bottle and seems to contain fibers. Ugh. Although they told me to totally like use it, so zap it, foosh. So uh, so it has to be. Wait, what? Why can't I shoot it here specifically? That's come on. Ugh. There we go. Zap, zappity doo -dahs. I don't really get why I can go up to, but not, they're up and down, but not left and right to, whatever. The ray bounces, you freeze yourself, you learn that a silver wand is a wand of ice. And I totally froze myself, so. Anyway, let's uh, keep moving with this stuff. Scroll of Ancient Runes, read that sucker. You learn that the Scroll of Ancient Runes is a scroll of Enchant Armor, and your skin hardens. Well, that's cool. That's cool beans, but, but that's how that works. And great potion, we're just going to go ahead and quaff. You learn that it's a poison potion, you are poisoned. Well, thanks a lot, guy. Anyway, it looks like uh, my poison has run out, so we're not too dead. This room would seem to be a dead end. It is not as it seems. Repeatedly press S. Yay, searching. <laughs> okay, spells and skills. Do, 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 raise it, yes, okay. And when you, when you were reading a book, you can try to learn it. It may have prerequisites. Okay, boo, boo, boo. Stop reading will bring help. Okay, um, gotcha. And learning things. These levels increase. There's, okay, yes. Still learning things. Free up spells. Okay. And I guess, yes, right. Take effect automatically, so you do not need to explicitly invoke them. Spells, on the other hand, must be cast with Z. Okay, so that's a locked book. This is a, you can eat the bloody book. Oh my goodness. Oh. Ba -ba -ba. This is not what I had in mind. Okay, capital R is rest. That's good to know. Go ahead and. Wait, what? I, I can do any of these? Wow. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and learn Magic Missile. Uh, let's see. I think I can just do it, right? Yes, learn Magic Missile. Uh, oh, you learned that the locked book is a Tome of Death. Wow, that seems pretty good. And then, Bloody Book is all of this. Wow. Um, pointed, pointed attacks. With pointed sticks. Yes, let's just go ahead and do that. Book of Sherp. Oh, so. No, it's. No, it's fine. Okay. Water. Water, way forwards, blocked by water. Without magical resistance, you will likely sink in the water. Okay. You can try to return by walking on the land. You can also climb out of the water up and down via staircases. 
Well, it looks like I managed to survive there. Jeweled one. Go ahead and kill that guy. Get the silver sword and the twisted one. And this glowing potion. Well, since it's the tutorial, they're probably not going to kill me off too easily. It's an evil bottle of Greek fire. The liquid catches fire as it leaves the bottle. Catching fire. I'm still burning. Aha! There we go. The water drowned me, but at least the, uh, the flames finally finished. So, I'm still alive! And that's, that's really what matters. And then we got this wand. Uh, darn it. Okay. Uh, boop, boop, zap, zippity doo da. Nothing happens. Great. I guess I could try zapping it on myself. The dungeon briefly distorts around you that you learn that this is a wand to teleport. It teleported me literally nowhere. <laughs> or, I don't think it did. I guess I'll have to rewatch. Darkness! Not all the powder is well lit. Light sources can be invaluable in, in figuring out how to, to navigate through darkness. Beware of dragons! Okay, well, that, thank, thank you very much, signpost. Is this... No. Alright, I think I missed something up here around here. I don't know if it's important. Down this corridor is one of the most feared of creatures, the Kiwi. The sphere is misfounded as the Kiwi is a peaceable sort that will only attack if provoked. Sometimes you may find your way blocked by a Kiwi. If waiting isn't an option, you can always try to swap places. Right. So, we gotta do the thing. Okay, I already don't have any issue with that. Looks and history. X allows you to go to look mode. V brings up history and messages. Okay. That's pretty straightforward stuff. We've seen this more than enough times. Okay. Alright then. Excellent. And then we got these, you know, just hold on. Dipping items. Dip items into potions. This can be useful to discover the property of a potion or to apply some effect to the item. Alright. This is actually something you do in NetHack for interesting reasons. Uh, let's see. What did I get? The long sword? Let's go ahead and dip it in here. Nothing happens. Well, that's, that's great. Uh, oh, I also have empty bottles. That's, that's also great. Let's go ahead and try it again. Nothing happens. Well, if nothing happened, uh, let's go ahead and just drink it anyway. You choke yourself. Awesome. So, did I at least learn... Man, stupid choking potion. Ah, I hate choking potions. Daggers and daggers and more daggers. Quivering ammo! Yay! So, we set this to something, I guess. Uh, you can also throw up and down by selecting the square. Two squares up or two down from you. Uh, in the door diagonals and blah blah blah. Huh. I kind of find it weird that you can shoot in 10 directions, but I don't know. I guess I'll, I'll figure that out. This process can get tedious. Instead, you can quiver items that you want to throw often. Right, so you send it to the quiver, right? Okay, to throw a quivered item, hit F and then choose the direction. Alright, so for instance, I, oh, I can just hit quiver. There we go. These daggers are totally quivered. So you, you can quiver all of them. That's cool. And then we just do this. You stab the rat, the rat crumples into a heap. Yeah, man. Crumpled rat heaps. Good times. Let's go ahead and just eat a rat corpse. Uh, yeah, picking up daggers. So they auto-quiver when you just pick them up. Okay. Very convenient. Thank you very much for making that convenient. Alright, dragon. Where are you, dragon? Uh, this might actually be a good time to try... Well, for one, it's equip some stuff. Yes to the main hand, please. Plus one chainmail. Oh, I don't know. I'll just stick it on my left finger. <laughs> well, I'm glad that they don't do that, but it's kind of odd that they would give me the choice in the first place. Um, okay, so from the inventory you can just quickly use that button. Um, medium weapons sized medium? I guess I have to examine it to figure out. Yep, you're a medium, so let's go ahead and figure you out. Uh, read it. 
reading the book, get the medium weapons. There we go. Uh, and I think that's... Yep, there's the dragon. Boosh, you are a dragon. I'm probably dead. Oh yeah! You will get used to this. In other games, you may have saved and reloaded your character. This is not recommended in powder, most likely. You will get yourself into a situation where no saving and restoring can save you and end up frustrated. So, there we go. That's how you play the game. And that, wow, that took quite a while, but let's just go ahead and get directly huh, into the game and call myself, uh, well, what else? I mean, well, I, I always try to come up with more interesting names, like, um, Illithoid. I don't know. There we go. Yes, okay, we learned that. So, what do we have in our inventory? We got a Tome of Death, we got arrows, we got a bow. It's only like an archer, basically, I guess. I guess. Um, and I also started with Evil Manual of Armor and stuff. Tome of Death. With the ability to get all these things. Well, I figure I'll learn as I go. So, gold crowns. That's always a good time. Picking up gold crowns to adorn my beautiful, beautiful forehead. You're a rapier. Good for um, rapiering, I guess. Oh, come on, rat. Yeah, I should probably be a little more... Um... So does that work? Can I just, like, do one and then the other? That seems a bit crazy, but whatever. No, let's not climb the ladder. Um, check the map, holy crap, just to know where we've been. And to also just kind of get an idea of how big these maps are. The Buckler Barclay, oh my goodness. Um, I bet you're pretty good, huh? This designed to be strapped to the arm, no notable advantage, or has the notable advantage of not encumbering your offhand. Well, sure, why not? Let's uh, go ahead and drop the bow. Use the bow when I need to. Silver sword? Silver sword must be so much better than a rapier. I mean, maybe not, but, but whatever. Just picking up stuff is the game, and, and learning what stuff's good and what stuff isn't is super duper important. Force that door open, get those iron helmets. I already have three things. Yay! What's with the question mark? Oh, okay. Gods. Gods. No one god. Gods, let them come to me. Adventurers worship no one... Oh, they mean like polytheistic. Okay, this leaves them safe from their meddlings, but also unable to reap the gifts that uh, fall to the faithful. Or, wait... Followers conduct no special conducts. Followers receive plus five, plus five per level. Um, okay. So, this fa their fate is either to be envied... That's that's it? <laughs> oh, man. Um, well, I'll probably learn these as, as we go. Uh, wow, so... I guess... I think this is the HP and this is, like, the mana. So, that's, that's what you gotta figure out there. Um, in the meantime, since I don't really know about gods, I think I'm going to not think too much about it, but apparently they're kind of a cool thing in many games, and, well, yes, that, that's how that goes. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're a tri-dude. Tri-dudes are apparently very strong. Um, this seems like a great idea to, to zap a wand, see if it, uh, if it does anything. Oh, great. Um... Another statistic, yes. Indeed. I got two whole enemies. I had walk on water ability. That's, huh. And then apparently you get all these bonuses for doing things that are favorable to some and not to others. Huh. Yes, blah, blah, blah. Well, I guess I could take a look at all this stuff. <laughs> figures that that was a cure potion. I really figures. <clears throat> Floppy hat. Plus one ability of flopping. I don't know. So there's that. There's a silver sword. That doesn't say that it does anything. 
I don't know. Where, where did I get the walk on water ability? Helm of Warning. Oh, that would have been sweet. Man, I should... I don't know if there's anything bad. Um, yes, blah, blah, New game. New game, indeed. I don't know if there's any bad items. Um, you know. So, just kind of... No, not yet. <clears throat> and apparently that's up and that's down. Okay. So what do we got this time? We got a spear, got a robe, wand teleport, sharp points, book. Cool. In fact, uh, use this opportunity to get my pointed, pointed weapon. Uh, yes, small area. S skill improves your ability with all pointed weapons. You know how to wield pointed weapons. Well, thank goodness, because I'm using one right now. All right, then. Um... In fact, I have also the Tome of Fire. That's interesting. Because I can learn everything else from it. Flame Strike. Wow, that's really expensive. No! Uh, sticky Flames. They instead point to the ease. Uh, sure, why not? Oh wait, I must first learn Flash. Well, let's go ahead and learn Flash then. Blinding White Light. If it doesn't kill them, their temporary blindness will likely nonetheless make them easy pickings. Let's go ahead and learn Flash, then. You hear the sound of someone mashing... <laughs> oh, that's... That's a, that's a nice little piece of humor right there. Do I, I don't have to explain the joke, right? Right? Okay, good. Good. Kill that rat. Pick up that club. For little to no reason, but whatever. Um, Wow, that was that was quite a death right there. Go ahead and eat that mouse corpse. Fight a bat. Oh man, really? Man, stupid bat. Look at that. Crazy. I did not do very well that time. Uh, what have we got? Amulet of Reflection. Okay, enough of that. So blah, blah, blah. Not doing too well. So I gotta be a lot more careful about surviving, I guess. Um, let's do Chala Low. Whatever. Well, I guess there's a secret door somewhere. Yeah, what do you know? <laughs> uh, rapier, Tome of Growth. Interesting. This is all regarding the ability. This is weird. Okay. Endure Hunger. Not only able to continue functioning functioning while hungry, but your extensive knowledge ensure you can see a rich banquet where others can only see an empty field. Sure, why not? Let's, let's the have the ability to endure hunger and get potions. And maybe, I don't know, let's go ahead and dip into here. Nothing happens. Well, that happens sometimes. Plain robe? I bet the studded stuff's better than a robe. Much more than that. All right, silver sword. I bet that's also better. I don't. I don't really know these things though. I mean, if you examine, they each come with a weight, attack styles, material, noise, and special skill. So if we look at it for this guy, it's iron as opposed to silver. Less weight. Quiet attack. Pointed. Um, oh yeah. Also the size. I gotta worry about this freaking size. Man, there's a lot of things to think about in this game. And yeah, edged versus pointed. So, but I think I think this is probably a better weapon, just on the merit of not really being able to attack. What are you? What are you? You're a fire beetle. Looks like a hard fight. Then let's. Well, whatever. We'll we'll take on a hard fight because I got a silver sword. Man, silver is known for being pretty darn good. Floppy hat, Mr. Flops and Natures, it chills your head. Um, then let's go ahead and unequip it, but it is evil. Darn it. Okay, so yeah, evil means that it's not particularly good for you. I guess I should have seen that coming, but oh well. Oh well. No, it's not climbing yet. Got to be a lot more aware of these things. Oh, you, you're a ring, huh? Well, I'll just go ahead and equip you. That 
apparently is doing nothing. Is this? Yeah, this is a hard fight. But at least you're very killable. Oh my goodness. That's like a hundred thousand rats. And is it me or do, you, do I take more damage over time? Like, yeah. It's weird. Oh great, they're, they're coming out, aren't they? Oh boy, um... Well, let's go ahead and try quaffing. You, no, not quiver. Uh, how do I quaff? Is that... Ugh, well, whatever. Potion of blindness, seriously? I have to be constantly searching, I guess. Close the door, there we go, much better. I am alive, I am alive. Yeah, it's, man, these things. Hard to kill. And oh my goodness, where did all of you enemies come from? Like, really? You are like a cobra. Fire snake, that's, that's like a cobra, right? Brown slugs and... I'm just kind of hoping I eventually level up here before dying, yeah. Right. Man, okay. This game's pretty rough. Pretty rough. A chant weapon would have been nice, I guess. Would have been nice. Evil! Evil! So, was that it? I guess that was just, that was it. Um, didn't have anything bad about it, it's just not very good for you. And this was a nice holy robe. I guess that's the as a, the opposite of evil. It's probably the case. So there we go. And there's like all that stuff that's around there. Uh, this seems like a good place to stop for now at least. We'll be taking a look more at Powder as we go through. So in, in the meantime, this has been Game Hunter playing Powder. And join me next time when we hopefully make it farther than the very first level. Floor dungeon. Uh, until then, keep playing those roguelikes guys. And take care.